Jonathan, welcome to the Aguilar Artist Loft. I'm here today with Jonathan Marin, a great New York City session bassist. You've probably hummed his bass line from Maxwell's Ascension, and he's here today to help us demonstrate Aguilar's jazz bass pickups. The pickups we're going to demonstrate are the AG4J60, AG4J70s, AG4JHC, and AG4J Hot. The AG4J60 pickup is a very accurate example of the kind of pickup the Fender was making in the mid-1960s. Now this pickup uses period correct form var wire and Alnico 5 magnets. The sound is warm and open. The note starts with a nice fundamental and then the overtones reveal themselves as the note sustains. The next pickup in the series is the AG4J70s pickup. Now this pickup is modeled after the pickups made by Fender in the 1970s. Now jazz bass pickups changed after Fender was sold to CBS in 1965. The wire changed to enamel coated wire, which changes how the wire goes on the bobbin and results in a more strident focused sound. The initial attack of the note has a very strong fundamental. It stays solid and then it falls off. It's less warm and open than the 60s pickups, but it's also more solid and present. This pickup is the AG4JHC. HC stands for hum canceling. It uses two coils placed end to end. This is called a split coil pickup. The pickup has a big open sound and is completely noise free. This is great for players who are bothered by traditional single coil hum, and it's a great sounding pickup. The last pickup in our jazz bass series is the AG4J Hot. Now this is a pickup that uses more windings and larger pole pieces to create a very big dynamic attack. Now this is great for heavy music as you might expect, but it's also great for other kinds of music where you might have a big pulse of an upright bass, swing, and other kinds of traditional music. Now even though it's a louder pickup, the mid-range is very accurate and the pickup is not muddy or dark like some overwound pickups. The tester bass we're going to use is this beautiful Lakeland Joe Osborne that we've had for a number of years at the shop. It's a great sounding bass and we've had uh, a lot of our bass players uh, sign it, endorsers and visitors to the shop, and we actually have Joe Osborne on the back of the headstock, the original signee. Uh -huh. So there it is. So we know this is an official Joe Osborne Lakeland jazz bass. Uh, we're going to let you zone in on the sound of just the pickups by uh, having Jonathan play the same musical examples for each pickup, and the pickups are going to be put in the same bass.
you've enjoyed this video from the Aguilar Artist Loft and that you've learned about Aguilar's jazz bass pickups. We want to thank from the bottom of our hearts the great bassist Jonathan Marin. Jonathan, thanks for coming by today and uh, helping us demonstrate the pickups and sharing your wonderful musicality with us. Uh, we'll see you next time from the Aguilar Artist Loft.